All right, Sooner Nation, we got some favorable news being announced in several top schools list, but one in particular for a player that we've been talking about today. We're going to dissect it, break it down, and tell you a little bit more about this recruit and why Oklahoma specifically needs him. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Brian and Brandon Smith who caught me at the gym the other day. They watch the show. They tune in all the time. So appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have not already, make sure you hit that like, you hit that subscribe button, make sure you're joining the discussion, jumping down in the comments below. Because when Brent Venables came to the University of Oklahoma, the emphasis has been on defense. And one complaint that a lot of Oklahoma fans have had over the years, or at least People that I know, people that I'm friends with, complaints have always been around the secondary. You haven't been able to defend it well. You haven't had a guy, a lot of guys with length or height back in that secondary. Well, the Oklahoma Sooners offered a guy a while ago, and his name was Marion Robinson out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, as of yesterday, which would have been Saturday, March 30th, Saturday, March 30th, he included Oklahoma in his top five schools. Now, here's why this is something I think is bigger and why Oklahoma fans need to be patient to it. He's the number 250th ranked player in the 247 composite rankings. I believe Rivals has him at 118, so they're the highest uh, recruiting platform on a Marion Robinson. But if you look at what Oklahoma is potentially going to be needing by the time a Marion Robinson hits campus... I think that might be Peyton Bowen's last year as he'll be draft eligible that year. Billy Bowman's obviously not going to be there. Robert Spears Jennings is going to be draft eligible. We're going to need to replenish some depth in that secondary, in the safety room. And when you look at Marion Robinson's pure athleticism, this is a guy that if you pair him up with, like we've talked about multiple times, a Marcus Wimberly, a Jonah Williams, which I get it. I've heard the smoke too. Jonah Williams and the Major League Baseball. But listen, it hasn't happened yet, right? So we can still have hope and believe a five-star safety will end up coming back to Oklahoma. However, if you pair him with any one of those two or both of them, you're looking at another really deep safety room back to like what we have it right now. So six foot and 171 pounds. He's got 20 total offers. Now, of course, you really got to focus on the five that are here on his final schools list, Georgia, LSU, Oregon, Arkansas, Oklahoma. The good news is if you're an OU fan and you look at the recruitment of a Marion Robinson and you follow the unofficial visits, Oklahoma's had like three or four. Arkansas's had like two or three. Oregon's had two. So if you're Oklahoma, you're coming in with an advantage because you've gotten the most unofficials. And you might say, well, why is that important? Because if the kid's having to go out of his way to come to that university and he does it multiple times, there's obviously something there. And we know Brandon Hall is an excellent recruiter and is excellent at developing those relationships. You've heard it and you've seen it with Marcus Wimberly. You saw it with Peyton Bowen. You've seen it with a lot of the other safeties that he's been able to go out there and land, like a Jaden Hardy. I mean, shoot, they came in last minute and were able to save the 2022 class. We had Robert Spears Jennings end up deciding to say. So you look at a Marion Robson, and as you guys are able to see his film right here, you guys can see of the sheer pure athlete that he is and kind of that depth that he would be able to bring to the safety room. Now, I look at some of the other safety prospects because I'm not oblivious, right? If we don't land a Marion Robinson, you still have Marcus Wimberly on the table. Marcus Wimberly, he's got a couple offers like Wisconsin and Oregon as well. I think he's got BAM as well. Obviously, you have Jonah Williams. That's probably going to be the grand jewel of the pro uh, of this class if you end up getting him. But Oklahoma's got a couple of other prospects as well, like Isaiah Rays out of DeSoto, Texas. You've got Cortland Gullery out of Spring, Texas. So there's a couple other in your region that if for some reason you miss on a Marion Robinson or you miss on Marcus Wimberly, you could go out and grab a couple others. However, though, talking to some people around the recruiting scene that kind of know what's going on 
sounds like things between Marion Robinson, Brandon Hall, and the Oklahoma Sooners are going very well. So if you're an OU fan, you're looking at this recruitment, and you're saying, we're in the top five. We're probably getting close to a decision here in the next month or two, maybe in June. He's probably going to be on an official visit to Oklahoma at the party at the Palace. I would imagine that's when they'd want to get him on campus. That's when Oklahoma's going to have some other secondary people on campus as well. If you're an Oklahoma fan, you feel good about this one, right? You should feel good about this one. Marion Robinson, he's an athlete that you want on this team, and he's a guy that I think would make a difference in that secondary, especially in the SEC, because all the other SEC schools want him. So, guys, if you have not already, go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to join the discussion by jumping down in the comments below.